Well, good morning and welcome to Kids Church. This morning we're going to be singing some songs, we're going to have a story, and we'll be doing our Cross Street Church family prayer. But we're going to start with a song that we did last week about the baby Moses, and it has some actions to the song, and it goes like this. In a little basket, and you have to imagine that's the baby in the basket, beneath the sky so blue, floating down the river where the rushes grew. While the angels watched him, baby Moses slept. When the princess found him, baby Moses wept. But God took care of the baby, and in his word we read, God who cared for the baby, cares for you and me. Okay, let's see if you can sing along and do these actions with me as we sing. In a little basket in the sky so blue, floating down the river where the rush is through, while the angels watched him, baby Moses slept. When the princess found him, baby Moses wept, but God took care of the baby. see the king. We have a message from our God, they said. 
Our God says, let my people go. I don't know your God, said the king. I will not let you go. And he gave orders to his men to make the Israelite slaves work even harder. God told Moses and Aaron that he would make the king let the Israelites go. If you don't let us go, the river will turn to blood, Moses said to the king. The king would not listen, and the river turned to blood. I will still not let the Israelites go, said the king. God had promised Moses that he would lead the Israelites out of Egypt to their own land. So Moses went to the king again and said, Our God says, let my people go. But the king would not listen. He was angry. The frogs that lived by the river did not like it now. They came up into the town. They jumped all over the rooms in the palace. When the king saw all the frogs, he said, Let the Israelites tell the Israelites they can go. But when the frogs had gone, he changed his mind. After the frogs, there were gnats everywhere, biting everyone. The Israelites can go, shouted the king. But when the gnats had gone, he changed his mind. God then sent swarms of flies to the land of Egypt. They were everywhere except where the Israelites lived. The animals which belonged to the Egyptians became sick. The Israelite animals were well. The king kept saying, yes you can go. But when the flies went away and the animals were well, he changed his mind. You must stay here, he said. Moses and Aaron told the king, If you don't let the Israelites go, you will be covered in boils and there will be hailstorms too. The king did not care. Soon the Egyptians had sore boils all over them. Then there was a terrible hailstorm. It beat down the plants and hurt the people, except where the Israelites lived. You can go away now, said the king. But when the boils went and the hail stopped, the king changed his mind. Moses told the king that God would send locusts to eat his grain, and that is what happened. Then God said he would make the daytime as dark as night. When these terrible things happened, the king wanted to get rid of the Israelites, but as soon as they stopped, the king changed his mind. Then God said to Moses, Tell the Israelites to get ready to go. Tell the king that tonight I am coming to Egypt. Because he has not obeyed me, the oldest child in each family will die. Moses told the Israelites to mark the doors of their own houses with blood from an animal. Then their oldest child would be safe. It all happened as God said it would. All God's people were safe. Then the king of Egypt asked Moses to take the Israelites away. God has given us so much trouble, he said. He must want you very much. So God took the Israelites out of Egypt. In the daytime he led them with a special cloud. All night there was a finger of fire so that they could not lose their way. At last they were on their way to Canaan, the land God had promised to them. Wow, that was an amazing story, wasn't it? We're going to have another song now. Well, we started off with a song about how God cared for the baby Moses. We're going to do another song about God caring for us now, and it's called Wide, Wide as the Ocean. And it's got some actions, it goes like this. Wide, wide as the ocean, you stretch out as wide as you can. High as the heavens above, reach up high. Deep, deep as the deepest sea is my Saviour's love. 
I, though so unworthy, still am a child of his care and you rock your baby. For his word teaches me, open your Bible, that his love reaches me everywhere. Okay, I know most of you know this one very well. So sing up as loud as you can and do those actions. Are you ready? Why, why does the ocean apart?
big clap, that was some brilliant singing and brilliant actions. Okay, we're going to finish this morning with our family prayer. And we've been doing a lot of stretching up and reaching down. We're doing it again in our family prayer today. This is a prayer with actions. We'll run through it so you can see what the actions are. And it starts like this. Hands together and eyes closed. But you can keep your eyes open if you don't know the actions and you can see what they are. So we go hands together and eyes closed. From the top of our heads, and you touch your head, to the tip of our toes, and you touch your toes. May the love of God, we point up for God, and Jesus, his son, and we stretch out our arms like that to remind us of Jesus when he died on the cross to show how much he loved us. And then we do wiggly fingers, and we go flow through our hearts, and bless everyone. Bless all the mums with wisdom, Point to your mind and love across your heart. Bless all the dads with strength from above, show me those muscles. Bless all the children again and again. That's the end of our prayer. So we all say, I want to hear a big loud, Amen. Okay, we're going to do it from the beginning. Are you ready? Hands together and eyes closed. From the top of our heads, to the tip of our toes, may the love of God and Jesus his Son flow through our hearts and bless everyone. Bless all the mums with wisdom and love. Bless all the dads with strength from above. Bless all the children again and again. That's the end of our prayer. So we all say, Amen. Good praying everyone, I hope you've enjoyed the Kids Church this morning, uh, we'll be seeing you again next week. Next week we're going to be actually starting having services in church, so those of you who normally come to church with your mums and dads, you can come along and there will be a Kids Church over in the church hall with Karen, she'll be doing that like we used to six months ago. Uh, but for those who are not able to come to church on Sunday morning, we'll be carrying on doing Kids Church like this online for you to join in with some songs and a story online as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that this morning. We're in a different venue. I'm recording from down at church today instead of from my living room. We're on a bit of a transition of getting things up and running at the church. So things will be starting up down here, but keeping going online as well. Hopefully everyone will be able to join us in one way or another. So stay safe, God bless, and we'll see you again next week.